All right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Joy Rosa with Earthworks Acupuncture, and we're back with Dr. Jimbo Lee. Um, last Friday, we discussed stress and the body's fast responses to stress through a Western lens with epidemiologist Kendra Sims. And today, we're going to speak with Dr. Lee about what TCM has to offer us in terms of how the medicine understands, diagnoses, and treats symptoms of stress, especially amidst COVID-19. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, um, Dr. Lee, we know that stress is really an inevitable part of life, and in the midst of COVID-19, it's really brought up a lot of stressors for individuals and communities and in our global community. Um, stress affects the free flow of chi within the body. Can you tell us a little bit more about stress and health and COVID-19? Uh, yes. You know, stress is a really our life, especially nowadays, uh, you know, life space, uh, uh, races were rapid and so even you do not notice you have stress but it shows in your body mm -hmm. so for example you have neck shoulder pain you, you don't think it's that stress but it is so the stress especially nowadays the COVID-19 you know caused a lot of stress Mm -hmm. uh, you know, stress uh, can cause the qi flow is not smoothly and can cause qi stagnation in Chinese medicine perspective. The qi stagnation especially impact the liver. Mm -hmm. The liver is the organ, you know, soothing, moving the qi, stretching the qi, just like the spring, you know, the the liver is a spring organ it's related with wood when the stress impact your liver it causes liver tea stagnation and long term in all if you have more heat in your body you have excessive yang or eat some heat hot warm food and then your body have quickly the, the stagnation turned into the heat Mm. And the liver, chi, the liver can impact your spleen, which is your digestive system. Mm -hmm. In Chinese medicine, we consider that earth. So the wood acts on the earth, cause digestive problems such as like you have reduced appetite or you gain appetite, you just eat too much. And then you gain weight or you lose weight. You have nauseous. You have gas bloating, diarrhea, or you may have, you know, other condition of your digestive system. People may be got colitis, colon disease, all those terrible autoimmune problems. Mm -hmm. So the liver, it can cause a problem. So like, uh, let's talk about a little bit the current COVID-19. So it's interesting, this disease happened in the springtime, which is liver season, liver time, which is wood. So think about it, in wood season, the wood chi is strong. The wood overacts on the spring and cause the spring problem. You know, COVID-19, a lot of people have originally, this is diarrhea. The people have diarrhea, they do not, in the beginning, they do not have the cough or fever. They just have diarrhea, and then later on turns into the fever. So the, the liver overacting on spleen, the liver has a relationship with the lung too, from Chinese medicine, five elements theory. Mm. So generally speaking, the lung is belong to metal, the metal overacts on the, the wood, which is the liver. So lung overacts on the liver. So think about the liver chi too much. And then it, the lung cannot overact on the liver, but the error, the liver insults the lung. Mm -hmm. And can cause the lung problem. See, 
the liberty to stop straw in the spring season or act on the lungs and cause lung problem. That's exactly happening in COVID-19. Right. So people have the lung problem, cough, you know, shortness of breath, those severe, you know, problem, mm -hmm. dry cough, and they're not much phlegm. So I think for the prevention you very very important just to relax you know not have too much stress mm -hmm. try to manage your stress otherwise it will cause the problem especially at that time you make the covid-19 condition you know you may you may have vulnerable to the virus because your lung is not good enough strong enough your spleen is not strong enough due to your stress mm -hmm. i know stress sometimes difficult to control people just uh, you know worries you know stress fear all those emotional conditions can impact all other organs i will talk about that later okay great um so on friday again you know we were talking about all of these stress responses um, and they're all valid stress responses to trauma and stressful situations. And um, just like in Western medicine, your body can set off alarm bells and chain reactions to typically move forward in a stressful situation. But if those uh, response hormones are on autopilot, your body will eventually become worn out. And this is where we see folks at higher risk for diseases. So when you, Dr. Lee, are talking about traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, effectively relieving stress through acupuncture and herbs, you are talking in terms of five elements. That's one school of thought in Chinese medicine and um, really a, a, a basic principle, actually, in Chinese medicine. And each element is associated with different organs. So when we're talking about the wood element that is pertaining to the liver and the gallbladder, the metal element is the lung and the large intestine, and the earth element is the spleen and the stomach. So can you tell us also a little bit, I guess when, just for people at home who've never heard of this, when you're having stress in the wood element, there's a cycle and maybe I can try to figure out how to draw this for people to see. I'll draw the <laughs> star. <laughs> we have wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. So this is liver, this is spleen, and this is lung. <laughs> it's for people at home. So when, yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. when we're here with the liver, what you're saying is when it insults, it's coming down here to the metal element, the lung element. And mm -hmm is also going to impact not only the lung but the large intestine because the large intestine is the lungs yang pair the lung is the yin pair so that's also i think something that we're seeing with covid 19 is um not only digestive issues but right people are having um certain intestinal upsets as well and um you know we can do things like yoga and you know whatever lineage that resonates with you like any kind of stretching or uh, a thousand hands buddha or self-massage or qigong so um dr lee can you tell us a little bit how this might impact someone's sleep i know that a lot of people aren't sleeping very well too okay yes so when people have stress uh definitely they will impact the sleep so let's just a little bit review about our theory, the five elements, and then you will be understand, you will understand the, the, the reason people have insomnia or mm -hmm. sleep disorder. Uh, in Chinese medicine, we have seven emotional conditions, uh, which is um, joy, 
that related with the heart. And if you eat normal heart tea, and you'll, you'll be happier, joyful. And then if your heart tea is not strong enough, then you may feel sadness. Okay. And then the second one is anger. You know, anger is related with the liver. Mm-hmm. The liver uh, tea, normal. And you feel the tea, I mean, the liver tea is Smooth, smooth, you won't have anger. You'll be, you know, mellow, normal. Uh, but if the liver get irritated or liver has problem, the liver tea can stag- can cause stagnation, and then the liver uh, stagnation can cause heat or fire. Some people just uh, have liver fire. They just uh, when there, there's liver fire, people are angry. They feel that she goes up. You know, they cannot hold or control their emotional. They just angry. That's the liver. Mm-hmm. And then there is a uh, worry and sad. Worry and the sadness is related with lungs. And the lung organ, if it has problem, the patient has sadness worries uh, another thing the worries and sadness that can still cause damage the lung can mm-hmm. cause a lung problem so and then the overthinking or oh, like anxiety that's related with spleen mm-hmm. the spleen organ is uh, you know how you think about things clearly normally uh, but if you overthinking which means your know, worries uh, anxiety for example the COVID-19 he called people worry they say oh my I need to clean my surface I need to wash my hand they wash it and they still worry oh my does that clean enough I wash again and then clean the surface, and 10 minutes later, they say, oh, is the surface still clean? And then spray that again. If you have this kind of condition, I'm sure you are, you <laughs> you have that. And that definitely, you know, it's a, it's a problem and cause spleen damage. So I just mentioned if the spleen damage in Chinese medicine, this means digestive system problem. Okay, and then the 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 last one is fear or the shock. There's two kinds of condition we call in Chinese medicine we call jing and kong. Kong means fear. So you know something, but you just fear about it, such mm-hmm. as COVID nineteen. You call you know COVID nineteen is around. You know, so your fear, you it will impact you. It damage damage your your kidneys. Mm-hmm. And there's another thing that you don't know. Something suddenly happened, such as like you just walking there, some somebody rob you. Mm-hmm. It's just a shock. Your body have immediate reaction. Mm-hmm. A reaction. This kind of emotional condition definitely is related with kidneys. When the kidney has like was shocked or uh, was like I and mean, it's shocked or the kidney the fear that can cause the kidney goes downward, kidney T goes downward. The immediate reaction is what? Some people are just incontinence. Yeah. They, the, the, they're like pee immediately. I mean, they cannot control the pee if there's a terrible thing, or they have frequent urination. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, those emotional conditions definitely, so five sound organ related. Let's talk about the, the COVID 19. So, or oh, how the COVID 19, or oh, how the stress, worry, fear those emotional condition cause insomnia so in chinese medicine we 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 think about this uh, seven emotional conditions related with different organs 
but the main organ is heart. Uh, we consider heart is just like emperor of the, the country, you know, all time. So, which means it's powerful, strong, and hold things. It's related with your emotional, like spiritual condition. So all kind of emotional condition we just mentioned is hard to rotate. And it's hard, it's uh, definitely every organ impacts the heart. So when the liver, the stress causes liver heat stagnation or liver heat, liver fire, which is a wood element, it's overacting on the spleen. And the spleen is damaged. The spleen qi damage. Spleen organ is organ generally the qi and the blood in Chinese medicine. Because think about digestive system. You eat, you digest, you eat. The body generally the qi and the blood. So when the spleen is damaged, then the blood cannot generate well. So you have some blood deficiency. The heart is the organ, you know, Hold the heart, pump, make the circulation, right? So, and, and if there's not enough qi, blood, you generate the heart, blood is differentiated. Mm -hmm. When the heart, blood is differentiated, and then the heart cannot be nourished, and the shen is disturbed, and then insomnia happens. This is a kind of differentiated type of insomnia. And there another thing, so think about you have liver tea stagnation, your body have original or pre-existing young excess or pre-existing heat or because you eat too much spicy food, the hot food, and then your tea stagnation turns to the heat and or fire. Fire is more severe than the heat. And those are the tea, the heat and can to the heart. Because from five elements, there five elements theory, mm -hmm. the wood and the heart and the fire. Wood is liver, fire is heart. There's a mother and son's relationship. Oh, I'll show the picture here. So yeah. the, the mother is, is too strong. It, it can impact the, the son, the fire. So people can have the fire. In Chinese medicine, we, we consider the heart is the emperor and the, the liver, the other organs, like ministers. Mm. So, and we will see the heart, the emperor and the minister, both have fire. Mm -hmm. And then you think about you have too much fire, heart heat, heart fear. Fire, uh, fire, and then how can you sleep? It shows in your tongue. Your tongue is red, the tape especially. And all the, the margin of the tongue, it shows red. And people cannot sleep. Right? There is another condition like COVID-19 cause like people, you know, worries. And, and the heart can... You know, the, the liver overacting the spleen, and the spleen causes the heart blood deficiency. It can still cause heart qi deficiency, mm. which means, you know, people do not have energy. They feel, you know, tired. They, they just, uh, it's difficult to make decision and, and impact what? The, the gallbladder. Mm. The gallbladder is wood element too. So gallbladder is the organ to make decision or to recall it's just like a drug. So if the liver and the heart has problem, qi deficiency it definitely can cause insomnia. Right. So untreated liver qi uh, stagnation will possibly generate this fire, this heat. It can travel upwards. So we're talking right now. Um, I'll try to post a better 
uh, video about this, but we're talking here in the wood liver element. So when this is stagnated, heat rises and comes to the fire element, which is like where your heart pericardium is. Um, the heart is the emperor of all your internal organs. This is what Dr. Lee is saying. Um, if you have uh, too much stagnation, it can um, impact your um, metal element, the lungs. It can it can the lungs. It can liver can overact on the earth, spleen element. Um, this is also related to the blood production in the body, and that's also related to the heart. So we're talking here about mostly about like disturbance of sleep, poor appetite, other disharmonies, and calming the mind again is just very important because when we relax the body, the body has um, its ability to rest and return to its natural state of balance and harmony, which is one of the other principles in Chinese medicine. It's the yin yang theory. And so uh, Dr. Li, could we talk about maybe some self-massage points for people at home, um, maybe on pericardium, heart, or uh, liver, gallbladder channels. Um, maybe they can do some, some massage for sleep. Uh, yes. So for the stress, how to manage it is very, very important. You cannot only depend for uh, on the medication like antidepressant, all those things. But mainly, I suggest you uh, first you need to do more exercises. Mm -hmm. When you do more exercises, when you're walking, you want just uh, when the exercise makes the chi and the blood circulate well. So it can definitely make your stagnation better. I'm sure you have the experience when you have some some stress or you feel your shoulder tight, pain, and then you go outside and maybe jogging or maybe maybe just even stretching and then you feel good, right? So very, very important to do the the exercises uh, during that, uh, you know, uh, isolation time, people need to keep the social distance sure you can still you know take a walk and maybe do something in your backyard and when in, inside of the house yeah. you know practice qigong tai chi stretching yoga you know those things this is really really important uh, another thing i will suggest to you when you really feel stressed out or even panic attack so you sit there, tell yourself, I'm okay. And then practice breathing meditation. I'll tell you how to do it. You just uh, take deep breath in, imagine some good things will happen. Uh, some things already happened in the past, very beautiful thing. You just imagine and think about it and then breath out. And you do many times. And then your stress beat better, your panic attack will go away, your heartbeat will slow down. It will be very, very important. Mm -hmm. And when, when, when especially panic attack and can cause severe you know, discomfort. So that's important to do. Uh, another thing in Chinese medicine, definitely everybody probably already know acupuncture works, mm -hmm. but unfortunately during this time of, you know, <laughs> this time of year, we just cannot practice and give you acupuncture. But you can do that at home by yourself and you can do some self-massage or uh, acupressure. Uh, you can do some... Uh, you, we have several uh, like microsystem, like hands, feet, ear. That all microsystem. You don't need to know what the points are because hand, feet are small. You just massage them, and the ear. You just massage and rubbing it and stretching it. Yeah, and be really make you feel good. And and some points I will. Kill you. Uh, 
uh, for moving chi and the blood, so soothing your liver, liver and makes the stress better. Uh, I think the we, Chinese medicine we call four gates. Mm -hmm. So which which is are the two points. One is uh, in your hand, yeah, between your thumb and the mid uh, the index finger. Uh, you can just uh, press it, in it. Another one we call this is a large intestine four. Another one is liver three, but you can make the the like big area cover the liver two, which oh. is located in the foot. <laughs> the similar area, the big toe and the second toe in between. Uh, you just uh, like needing do some pressure. I'm sure probably 90 percent people will feel tenderness over there. So you just do that. It's really really good for the chi uh, movement, soothing the stagnation. Another point I suggest to you is we call spleen six. Mm -hmm. uh, in Chinese medicine, that sun yin jiao, three yin meridian mates there. What are, are the three yin meridian? The liver meridian, the spring meridian, and the kidney meridian. So we, we just mentioned these three organs are definitely related with the emotional condition. So you do the kneading, it will just good for these three. I'm gonna show a picture of spleen six. Yeah, that's great. Uh, another one is I think it's so easy to do is stomach 36. When you see there, and then you can just uh, you know easy to reach your leg, and then just needing massage. And I think a lot of people may feel that tender and some patients see all oh, these points when the needles in they feel when the needles in they feel i have too much pressure you know this is a really good point for the spleen stomach and uh if for the full organ, all the full organs problem in chinese medicine and this is the first point we choose Another one is PC6. Mm -hmm. It's in your hand and uh, arm. Uh, that is the important point. Uh, it's related with heart. It's a point in pericardium meridian. Yeah. It's so easy to, to, to choose. You just use your palm, uh, four fingers, and from the wrist up, and then it's you. You just have find it, yeah. Needing and you know acupressure. It's good for the chest. So you think COVID nineteen? It really caused the lung problem. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, in the severe stage or later stage it's really caused heart disease problem most people when, when they have shortness of breath and then have heart like palpitation problem so pc6 is a really really important one and it's good combination with stomach 36 it's really good for the digestive condition spleen in the stomach so this is a really good one it's good for nausea if you have nausea a panic attack and heart, you know, chest tightness. It's a good one. Great. And it's good for insomnia too. And then another one I would suggest use heart seven. It's very close to the PC6. That's the heart seven. Heart seven is the UN south point of the heart. Mm -hmm. Chinese medicine consider the thumb organs problem use UN south point. This is really good for calm the spirit, calm the mind, and good for your heart. And then the another one I suggest it's so easy to reach is liver 14. 
liver floating is just the, and in the side of the body and, and, and the rib cage area. So this is the, in liver meridian. Right under. Oh, yeah. Uh, 14 and Joy, can you show them like liver 13 too? The liver 13, liver 14 is a good point for soothing the liver, especially when you have stress and then you feel your hypochondria area, like kind of discomfort or fullness, you use liver 14. And then liver 13 is a point, yeah, Joy just show you, that is a good one. It's, uh, it's in the liver meridian, but it's all the zang organs meet there. We call the meeting point of zang organ. Five zang organ, the heart, the liver, the spleen, the kidney, the lung, all the, the qi meet there. So very, very important. You know, I think this is a point I suggest to you, you know, you just uh, do the massage. You don't need to just uh, sit there specifically do that. When you, you know, sit there doing other things, definitely you can rub those points. You know, when you're familiar with the location every, every, every time, whenever you feel comfortable and you feel you have time, you just do it. Mm -hmm. So I often do that. Well, I watching TV, reading, you know, you don't, you don't need to think about it. You're just rubbing it. So that's some suggestion. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Um, again, we'll review the points that you just mentioned. So, Hegu, this is uh, large intestine four between the thumb and the index finger. If you press it or mash on it, um, it's usually pretty tender. Um, that also helps with uh, headaches or stiff neck. Um, uh, liver two or three. Um, if you were to pretend like my foot is, or uh, my hand is my foot, it's between the first toe and the second toe, and it's the similar, you know, it's probably a little bit tender. So that's liver two and three. Um, you can massage it away from your body too. That's a nice way to uh, move um, away from the channel. Um, you mentioned pericardial six, uh, which if you took four fingers and just showed um, yourself like from your wrist and your fourth finger and it's probably a little bit tender, you can massage that, mash that. Uh, stomach 36, also if you took four finger breadth from your knee and right where your pinky lands so you're, uh, on your leg, you can kind of massage that. It might be a little tender, but you can massage. And uh, liver, liver 4, I'll stand up to show you. It's kind of right in line, uh, mid clavicle, straight down. And then liver 13 is a little lower than that, right at the end of your rib cage. And so those points, when you are giving uh, acupressure and massage, they're really going to help calm the mind, relax the body and um, also help boost immunity with uh, uh, especially stomach 36. Oh, spleen six was one more. So again, if you took another four finger breaths from the, uh, your ankle bone on the inside of your leg and you can find a tender spot, that's another place where you can also massage. So again, just to reiterate, um, exercise is very good to improve your chi and your blood circulation and minimize the impact of stress. And um, Tai Chi and yoga and breathing meditations also help move the chi. So it's good practice to exercise your mind into a calm state of being. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Dr. Lee, for sharing. Is there anything else that um, we could learn from you today about uh, stress or Chinese medicine and how it treats COVID-19 and stress? Uh, I will just uh, do some correction and the PC6 is a three finger, this three. Two turn up, right? Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that's the area. It doesn't matter if it's three turn and then you reach PC5, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can massage PC6 and PC5 to together that's good for the heart, for your pericardium, for your chest. Uh, 
you know, I think it's very, very important to to be, you know, peace, peaceful. You know, don't be stressed out. Stress definitely can cause a lot of problem. Not just the the, the one we mentioned. Uh, you know, the insomnia, the digestive system. It can impact the all over the body, all the five sound organs, just like we mentioned, the five elements, you know, theory. And the one organ has a problem, it impacts the whole system. Mm -hmm. So you need to manage your stress, do the same we suggest. And in Western medicine, you, you already know, you know the stress can deplete your immune system. And then it's not good for your body to fight with any infection. So sometimes, if unfortunately you get it, you get you get a COVID nineteen. If your body strong, healthy, your system in Chinese medicine is considered yin yang qi xue zhang fu organ all balanced, all healthy, and then you quickly get over it, you will recover 100%, mm -hmm. right? That's why the young people know no, no big problem for this problem, the infection. So, but if you stressed out, even you're young, you, you may still get a problem. So very, very important to keep your body, you know, balanced, healthy. I hope everybody happier in, you can you can enjoy the time you know at home to do the thing you want and and then in, enjoy your family together and you know hope you're healthy and happy thank you thank you very much dr lee so that's that was wonderful um hopefully some folks at home have uh, taken away some good uh, self-healing um, advice and um, can incorporate those practices into their daily routine. Um, again, it's really good to exercise your mind into the calm state. And so if you would like to check out some um, at-home workouts or anything like that while you're at home right now, or yoga or Tai Chi classes, especially from some of our other guests that we've had on these past few weeks, be sure to check them out. And Dr. Lee, we'll be back again with you next week to speak on another topic of Chinese medicine. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>